Hey there, Grammy T from Grammy T Knows. In this week's video, I'm gonna show you how to create one of these. How many times have you needed a speech bubble, but you couldn't find one that really looked decent? I decided to find out how do you actually make your own. And when I found out how easy it is, I thought I would pass that on to you. We will begin by creating a new file by coming up to File, New. I'm actually gonna keep the dimensions that I have here. I want the background to be transparent, so I'm going to leave that. Then just click on Create. There's your transparent background and you're ready to go. The next thing you want to do is click on your elliptical marquee tool, which is right here. You can either free hand draw it or you can make it perfect by holding down the shift key and then drawing. We're just going to make it oblong. Then you're going to go up to your polygonal lasso tool, which is right here. You're going to hold down shift and begin to draw. Let it go, come right here, make sure that it meets at the end and that opens that space up. So now you have the tail and you have the bubble. The next thing you wanna do is do a right click, come down to stroke, decide on what size you want. Let's try the 20, let's see how thick that looks. Leave it at black and click OK. You wanna fill the bubble, so we're, you're gonna do that by coming over to your paint bucket tool click on that. If you want a different color, come to the foreground color picker, open that up and we'll let it be white and click OK. You got to come inside the bubble and then click and there's your bubble. Now to get rid of the marching ants, do command D and there's your bubble. Kind of messed up over here. So just click on your brush tool and do that. So we'll zoom out and that's your bubble, your first bubble. Now I'm going to show you how to do an, another type and that's a, a square or rectangular one. So do command Z or control Z to start all over. And then you come up to the rectangular marquee tool. And if you want it to be a perfect square, hold down shift and begin to draw. If you want it to be a rectangular bubble, then just begin to draw. Hold down shift and draw a square. So this is gonna be a square speech bubble. You come back over to the polygonal lasso tool to create your tail. Hold down shift and begin to draw. You can stop here, do this, and bring it up here like that. Get a little more and then click it to the end. Do a right click come down to stroke and this time we'll make it a little bit smaller so make it five pixels and make the color green and click OK and there's your nice tiny stroke and to fill it you come to your paint bucket tool and click on that come to your color picker let's make it maybe a yellow make sure you bring your paint bucket into the bubble click to get rid of the marching ants command D and there's a different look if you want to see what it looks like to put in some type, let's get your typing tool. You just come here and add your text. Let's change the color because it's going to be the same color as the fill. We'll change it to black. Let's say OK. And let's type in our message. My first speech bubble. Yay. And there is your first speech bubble. There you have it. You have just created your own speech bubble. If this video has been beneficial to you, go on and like, comment, subscribe, share the video with others. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.